Welcome back to Basin Motorsports for another day here in the garage. So starting the new wrap on my wife's Suburban. And if you looked at the thumbnail, you're probably thinking, I don't get what this thing is about. So let me give you some backstory about my wife and her Suburban. My wife shows rabbits competitively. And one of the breeds that she is very good at and probably in the top tier of in the country is something called the Harlequin Rabbit. So there's two different types in there and it's basically the color types. So there's either a white and black or an orange and black. Now she wants to wrap her Suburban to match the orange and black one, which is called the Japanese Harlequin. Now the Harlequin Rabbit itself, just a little bit on the colors, it should be along the face, should be kind of like a split down the middle of its face. One side should be orange, one side should be black. The ears should alternate, so one orange, one black, should be diagonal to the color. So if it's black here, orange uh, should be uh, black on the ear, and then on the foot, it should alternate. So it should kind of do like this diagonal piece there. Along the body, it should have five to seven splits. And so what we're gonna do on the body itself is to wrap the doors individually, the fenders, and then the back quarter itself is going to be uh, split in the colors. So it'll give a kind of like a striped piece and a lot of people are going to mistake it for a tiger because it's going to be orange and black and it's going to be striped, but this is actually a rabbit deal. So you can see that I do have the Suburban here in the shop. And if I showed you the roof there, so what we're going to do is on the roof, we're going to split that in half. So one half is going to be orange, one half will be black. The uh, hood itself is going to be split in half down the center, one half orange, one half black and they're gonna alternate from the hood to the roof. So it's gonna be uh, orange on one side, black, and then it's gonna flip flop going up to the roof. So it'll be opposite that way. Looking at it, it's gonna be opposite from, let's say this side of the hood. I can't remember if this side is orange. This will be black, it'll be orange, it'll be black, it'll be orange, and right around this wheel well here, and then it will go to black. There again, she's got split back doors, so we're going to split this one half is going to be black, one half will be orange. And it's all going to alternate from orange to black, orange to black, literally around this car. Even though it's strategic, it's going to be kind of crazy. The colors she's picked, this is going to be a black metallic from Avery Dennison. This is going to be, I think it's a metallic marmalade or orange, I can't remember. I'll put up links to it, but this is gonna be a metallic orange. So it's got kind of a sparkle to it, as you can kind of see it a little bit there. So each of these has kind of like a, a sparkly piece to it. So we're gonna split uh, on each one of these. That's about 13 yards, because you buy these by the yard. So it's about 13 yards, or roughly about 39 or 40 feet on each of those. And we're gonna split this Suburban, uh, wrap only exteriors, wrap around the edges, but not do door jams. Looking at the roof of the vehicle, the whole vehicle itself needs to be uh, gone over with a clay bar kit. So I've already bought that, but most of this is going to be pretty easy. So the roof rack itself, you know, you've got a couple screws on each end. The roof rack is going to come off and then it's got these rubber strips for like luggage in that. But honestly, we don't even use this for anything up top. My wife isn't uh, tall enough to basically put anything on the Suburban. And we've never even really honestly looked up here. So we're going to take these strips off just to make it easier to wrap. And then we'll, uh, we'll keep them in case we need to put them back on. But they're just held on with double-sided tape. So a couple screws on these racks every so often. And those, those will pull off. We'll do a clay bar kit on that. And then the roof, other than the length and trying to split it about halfway, I'm going to do about a quarter inch seam. Kind of like I've done with everything else. So... One will be roughly halfway plus a quarter seam. The other way will be halfway and then it will basically split down the center going the length. So that's a roughly about 12 feet, I think is what I measured it out. It's like 120 inches, I think, from end to end. So looking at the hood, we'll take off the bug deflector here. That's just a few screws. That's easy to do. Uh, we're going to wrap this in separate pieces. So we'll do the main fender first and then we'll do the flare itself because this does not come off. Uh, we're going to leave the bumper and the headlights and that. We're going to wrap around those and basically clean those up. Just give them a good wash. Uh, the wheels we're going to give a wash. These, the doors themselves, will be similar to the Avalanche I did. And thankfully, there's no wind deflectors. So moldings come off, a mirror comes off, handle comes off, and then these, 
do not come off. So we wrap around these, but we've already figured out how to do that based on the avalanche last year. Uh, let's see, moldings there, handle, we'll go around that, that's fine. Uh, window stays, no problem, we'll just go around this little LS piece here, and then everything else will just get clay barred. We'll do this piece separate, this molding here will be done separately, it'll be very easy to do. And then looking at the back, we're just going to take off these two emblems, so the Suburban, the Chevrolet, those are going to come off, taillights come off. Windows stay, but you don't have to wrap anything around there. And then I'll probably pull off these quarter moldings right here, this black, just to make it a little easier to get in there because it's just screws. Everything else just comes off, handle comes off, and then it's just really one big uh, section there, and it will wrap very easily. Thankfully, the thing's in very good condition. Uh, my wife does a pretty good job taking care of it, so it really just needs a clay bar, wipe down, and then this is going to go very quickly, hopefully. We can get it done in a couple weeks or so. So that's kind of the background of the wrap itself. Now, if you guys have questions specifically on a Suburban or a truck or something, let me know. I didn't do a lot on the Avalanche last November. We had a really kind of a rush job to get it done, even though it took us a month. It was um, a really bigger job than we expected, so I didn't do a lot of filming. If you guys have questions on one of these, um, let me know. I'm not going to film the clay bar piece. I'm not going to film uh, taking it apart. And I'll probably just quickly time lapse just the vinyl itself, just kind of the, the white down, kind of like I've done with the wide body hood recently. Um, and I won't do really like a tutorial. So it'll be kind of time lapse mixed with some music and that, and just kind of doing it. And then we'll get to kind of the end. I'm trying to rush through this. It's uh, mid August when I'm starting this. And at the end of the month is the cutoff for the 2019 Rap Like a King contest for Avery Dennison. So I'm trying to get um, this done in order to use that for it if i don't i may just use the avalanche from last year because it was actually done technically after the cutoff into this year so i may use that i'm not sure but i'm going to try my best to get this done so that my wife can have it at least by labor day for all of her new shows coming up this fall here's where we're going to end up cleaning up the truck for this week the roof itself is good other than it needs to be wiped with alcohol so you can see the strips off these pieces here has been taken off and then I used some goof off to get the last of the residue off and a razor blade. Very delicate with a razor blade, just slide it along. It's just a matter of cleaning it off. That way you're not taking off any clear coat or any paint. So you can, I guess you can say there is no sound because it's nice and smooth. And that just needs to be wiped down with alcohol all the way across the roof. And then we'll uh, get back to the doors. All right, so here's the front door. And the fender, these are in pretty good shape. No sound, meaning it's nice and smooth. Same here, nice and smooth. Got a little bit left, I wanna get back under the handle. If I can show you, you can kinda of see just some hard water lines here. It's pretty darn smooth, so I may just go over it one more time with a clay bar kit. I still need to finish up on the back door. I think this one is already done, and then you can hear how rough that is. On the, the hand itself so that's the difference how smooth it is you can hear or not hear any sound versus kind of the sandpaper that still needs to be done before we're ready to go on the truck itself so every day I've been kind of in here just tinkering on it a little bit with the roof and the doors and that. So probably about two hours a day is all I've been able to spend on stuff between uh, work, writing. We've been doing a lot of fencing on the, the farm itself and it just seems like there's never enough time. Plus I went to two car shows this weekend, Friday and Saturday night. So we're going to get started on it this week, uh, probably may maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm not real sure yet, but trying to get this thing done. Once it's pretty much clean and clay barred, I feel like cleaning, disassembly, and reassembly, beyond the trimming in that, is almost half the work alone, at least, if, for the wrap. Especially on these that are pretty flat, they will go very quickly if you can just get them prepped and done. So we're gonna spend the time we need to to make sure that this is prepped right. It's gonna last for a few years, and then uh, we'll get it done. So couple more days of cleaning we'll get some wrapping done and uh, you'll be shocked at how fast this will probably go it'll 
probably tell them to take two or three days probably to wrap this whole truck because it's going to go so fast once the uh, prep is done. So again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, even, even on the Mustang or anything else, um, I, I can give you guys some help on that or anything else. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.